Hi all, it's the 1st of May today and I've zoomed in to show you. Um, this is my house tucked behind some trees and that is the yurt and it's got a very pointy roof at the moment and that's partly why I'm showing you this. Um, so at the moment the yurt's got um, a pole in the middle holding up the centre bit and I've come out today with my slightly rusty saw uh, to find either some ash or some hazel poles which I can make a new dome with. So my dome was, has got a five foot wheel in the top, it's quite a big one and um, so basically the sticks that I need to find are going to be about six or seven feet long so that it can poke up enough to create a nice dome effect and keep the rain out. Some wild roses. Off we go, let's see what we can find. I've just spotted something very odd on this oak tree. It's probably very normal, but look, this funny round creation on the end of a twig with then more coming out of it. I mean, what is going on? So I did already spot a coppiced ash um, down the way, but it was kind of on its own, right near the farmer's entrance to where the cows are and his other field where his sheep go. And I just thought, mm, no, a bit too private really, and a bit too obvious if uh, you know the neighbors have been cutting down bits of his tree. So I'm going a bit more into the wilderness, as it were, see what I can find. Bit of a breezy day today, the sun's getting lower in the sky. Already chopped, but way too fat for me and too short as well, so no use. So I'm looking for about two to three centimetres diameter. I'm going to try this little patch of woodland here. And look what I found. This beauty here is a hazel. You can tell by the leaf, it's got this... Um, cute little kind of point on the end and it's quite rounded and then it's got this kind of slightly fluted uh, effect going on and they're quite straight and they're pretty long there aren't enough here uh, but it'll get me going look how straight that one is that is a beauty I'm gonna go for that One down, seven to go. I'm gonna take them home kind of raw like this, crude, um, because I've got a day off tomorrow and I can work on the dome and get it all done at home because it's getting dark and late. So um, I'll just kind of do it as quickly as I can now. I'm umming and ahhing about this one. It's a little bit wobbly. And I'm hoping that this dome creation that I make will be good for a number of years. So I'm going to try and pick the best ones out. I've just found a kind of natural gully here. And there's this beautiful, very pale barked tree here. Um, you can't really see the blossom. Hang on. I can't get to it, but it's got really gorgeous little delicate yellow flowers on it. I reckon either side of this gully was um, some old hedgerows. Um, so that there is um, a hazel and so is this one here. But I've got to jump down, it's quite steep. Let's give it a go. There's old mushrooms and fungus and all sorts down here. The adventure continues. So this is what I mean by coppice. Um, it's not one trunk coming up from the ground. It's been, when it was younger, cut down here and more have grown up and are coming out of the ground together. So that's a coppice. And I think there might be a couple of good ones in here for me. Pretty straight, but are they long enough? Let's see. A word of advice, don't breathe in and keep your mouth closed when you bring down a branch. It had this weird kind of dust all over it and it made me cough loads. <coughs> Uh, this one had a weakness in it, it just kind of snapped on the way down, so 
So there's a bit there, but it's still long enough, so I'm still going to use it. And the other thing I was going to say is um, a bit like when you're foraging for food with plants, you don't take the whole bunch of plants. So if, if I liked all of these, I wouldn't take it all because it would kind of um, um, disrupt the whole kind of tree too much. So you just take one or two from each coppice and then move on and find some others. So you're just kind of trimming here and there, you're not taking the whole tree. My chosen pieces, they can't be too thin either uh, because then they won't be strong enough to withhold uh, the pressures and the bend um, of basically what it needs to do as the dome. I also don't want this thing going on here, little branches coming off because it won't create a nice smooth curve when it's up there so I don't choose those ones either. Okay, I'm going to count up, see how many I've got. I don't think I'm yet at eight, but let's see how I'm doing and then move on. Cool, I've got six and I just spotted another good one on the way down. Just one more beauty and I'm there. I've come to the edge of this little bit of wood and I haven't found my eighth piece. So I'm going to go up this edge here and see if there's anything further around. Still nothing. Now I'm going to cross over to the other side. Look at these beautiful specimen. They're all over the floor here. And that's the leaf. Gorgeous. I love these two oak trees down here. They're absolutely gorgeous specimen. And I can't seem to find any in this section of the wood. So I think I might give up for tonight and come back tomorrow to find my last one. Okay, my last one isn't perfect, but uh, we can't have perfection in nature. So she's got this little thing going on, but um, apart from that, she feels pretty strong. So she's going to work well for this project of mine. Out of the woods I go. Time to change technique. That is hard work dragging. I'm going to put them over my shoulder. That'd be better. I found a good balance point in the middle, so I'm going to give that a shot. I think that'll be less hard work. A little pause halfway home. I hope you've liked my uh, adventures into the undergrowth. Uh, if you're interested, then um, press the like and I can show you how I make my dome or the finished outcome. And then uh, you can see what I actually did with these hazel coppice branches. Thank you everyone and see you again soon. Bye.